Welcome to the BANK tutorial. BANK stands for Berea's Automated Network Catalog. It is our library catalog and contains records for all of the physical items in the library as well as the electronic ones. From the Hutchins Library homepage, there are two ways to get to BANK. The first is this large search bar in the middle of the page. If you type in any word into the search bar, it will automatically do a keyword search in BANK. So for example, if you're looking for a particular subject, you could type that in. And it will automatically give you every result that includes the word basketball. However, if you want to do a more detailed search from the beginning, you can go to the home page, come to the research column, and click on library catalog. This brings you to Banks home page. This is the search bar, and then these are the different fields that you can search. There's title of the item, the subject, journal title, author's name, call number, and subject browse. If you search all fields, it is a typical keyword search. When typing in your search terms, make sure to omit any beginning articles, such as A, an, and the. For example, if you want to search for the cat in the hat, you would type in only cat in the hat. And since that's the title of a book, you would come to title to search. It will then bring you all of the results that we have entitled Cat in the Hat. You can further filter your search here by adding a specific filter. For example, to make sure that you can check the item out, you can filter Circulating Print Collection. Clicking on an item record will bring you more information about the item. The record contains the location, call number, and status of the item. So with this book, we can see that it is located on the first floor of the library with the children's collection. As it is a picture book, it will be located on the short shelves in the children's section. The status tells me that the book is available, and I can check it out if I'd like. If you scroll down further in the record, it will give you more information about the edition of the book, such as the publisher, ISBN, and any other notes. So let's say I want to search for something else other than the cat in the hat. We'll go back to the search bar. Let's say I'm doing a research paper on Appalachian music. Then I can search all fields, so it will bring up all the resources we have, including Appalachian and music. There are 397 results about Appalachian music. Let's say that I want to make this paper really stellar, and I want to use Special Collections. I can add the filter Special Collections and Archives. Well, that didn't really narrow down my search results, because I have 309 still. So let's say I'm researching more modern Appalachian music. I can add the filter 2008 and after, which really does narrow down my search, because now there are only 31 results. The icons beside the record indicates what type of item it is. This means that it's music, and this means that it's a book. On the search result page, you can also see that there are multiple holdings available. For example, the CD portion of this title is located on the second floor, and the book is located on the third floor. There's also another copy of the title in Special Collections, both as a CD and the book. The last way to search in a basic search is by author. Whenever you type in the author, you must type the last name before the first name. For example, Rowling JK. Click on the correct author, and it will show you all of the titles that we have in the library by this author. Advanced searches really help narrow down your results. For example, I could search English and secondary education to get very specific results about secondary English education. I can also limit the year in case I want only current material or if I'm looking for something from a specific time period. I can also choose the location. Since my hypothetical search is about English education, I may want to search in the curriculum library, which is the education department's library. I could also limit it to type, so I only get back results about books. 
or a format, or I can make sure that I only get books in English. From Bank, you can also search in Special Collections. This allows you to search Special Collections without having to add a filter to your normal bank search. Finally, you can search Course Reserves on here. You can search by Instructor, Department, Course, or Section. That way, if a professor tells you to go check out an item on Reserve, you can already have the call number before coming to the Circulation Desk, which makes everybody's life easier. In addition to searching our catalog, there are special features on the bank homepage. The My Searches tab will take you to any saved searches. For example, I've saved the search Puppies. You can then rerun the search, edit it, or delete it. This is a useful feature if you don't have time to peruse all of the search results at that particular time. My list is similar to My Searches, but this feature allows you to save individual records. So for example, I wanted to remember this book, Puppies for Sale and Other Inspirational Tales, so I could check it out later. My account is one of the most useful features on the bank homepage. It will display all items that you have checked out, and it also allows you to request a renewal. If I need more time to read Potato, A History of the Propitious Esculent, then I can simply check the box next to the title, and then select Request Renewal. If the renewal went through successfully, you'll get this notification. However, you can only renew online once, and you can only renew print material. If you need to renew print material for a second or third time, or you want to renew media items, you have to bring them to the library to renew in person. And that's all for the bank tutorial. Thank you for watching.